Hello dear students my name is Vikram Nalavde and uh, I am from department of mechanical engineering I am working at uh, SIT COE Yadrao Ichalkanji In today's lecture of automobile engineering we will cover unit number 3 transmission system in which we will focus on the gearboxes we will discuss its types uh, the types of gear transmission and majorly we will focus on the constant mesh gearbox so let's uh, start with the types of gearboxes there are uh, sliding mesh gearbox constant mesh gearbox synchro mesh gearbox and epicyclic gearbox as we have discussed that we will majorly focus on the constant mesh gearbox an engine may consist of one or more gearboxes and uh, there may be gearboxes which are a mixture of these types that may be sliding, constant mesh gearbox, synchro mesh gearbox or the epicyclic gearbox. So uh, in the constant mesh gearbox we will focus on its types, its construction, working, advantages and the applications of the constant mesh gearbox. So uh, this is the constant uh, mesh gearbox uh, picture. I will elaborate in very shorter manner then after we'll discuss each component of constant mesh gearbox so as it is uh, shown in the constant mesh gearbox this is the clutch shaft and that uh, clutch shaft is connected with uh, the uh, driving shaft or crank shaft which receives power from the engine so this clutch shaft over which one gear is mounted now further there is one more shaft that is called main shaft or the output shaft over which some gears are mounted these are the gears and in between that the dog clutches are also present so there is the connection in between clutch shaft and the main shaft further there is one more shaft that is called lay shaft counter shaft this is the intermediate between clutch shaft and dog sh uh, that uh, main shaft or output shaft uh, lay shaft also uh, occupies number of gears almost five years are mentioned so uh, it is connected with the clutch shaft via the gears and remaining gears are connected with the gears of the main shaft this one these are connected with each other here is the idler pulleys these shows the pairs paired gears with each other so now let's discuss about uh, constant uh, mesh gearbox as it is mentioned i have uh, mentioned some of the theory part of uh, constant mesh uh, gearbox so as constant mesh gearbox was invented to overcome the limitations uh, of the sliding mesh gearbox so no sliding takes place in between this type of gears this is purely mesh gearbox uh, the gear remain fixed and uh, not sliding like uh, sliding mesh gearbox so it is completely a mesh type of gearbox all these are mesh with each other then uh, in this gearbox the sliding mesh was replaced with the constantly meshed pair of the gears uh, and new shifting devices like uh, dog clutches wa wa were introduced in this type of gearbox it usually come with four speed one reverse manual transmission configuration it has different parts like counter shaft this is the counter shaft main shaft as it is mentioned here clutches this is the clutch shaft and the gears and the dog clutches 
now gears on the counter shaft or the lay shaft these are fixed to it these are completely fixed to it but the gears mounted on the main shaft these are free to rotate helical and uh, herring bun gears are used usually used in this gearbox so it is uh, quieter than uh, sliding mesh gearbox which uses per gears uh, in this uh, gearbox all the gears in the main shaft all the gears in the main shaft over this and the counter shaft are always engaged with each other different transmission ratio or speed ratio these are obtained by using the dog clutches dog clutches engaged with the gears on the main shaft to the obtain desired speed or torque now uh, about uh, if we talk about the constant gear box it it plays very important role the main features of the constant mesh gear box as we have discussed uh, all the gears of the main shaft are in constant mesh uh, the system uses single helical and uh, herring bun uh, gears the shifting of uh, gear takes place with the help of splint sleeve and uh, gear operation is obtained by locking the respective gear to the main shaft by means of a dog clutch and the power flow from the engine enters the transmission through clutch that is input shaft or clutch shaft and leaves through the main shaft or output shaft now let's discuss about the uh, main parts of uh, constant mesh gearbox as we have already discussed in the previous slides uh, here is the in this uh, slide main shaft this is the main shaft over which number of gears are mounted and these are free to rotate this is the spline shaft over which dog clutches are mounted then next is uh, lay shaft or counter shaft this is the lay shaft as we know that this is the intermediate shaft between uh, main shaft and uh, clutch shaft the gears of uh, counter shaft are in constant mesh with the gears of main shaft also the gears of uh, counter are shaft the shaft are not free to rotate they are directly connected to the counter shaft and uh, here it is the clutch shaft this is connected with the uh, crank shaft of the uh, engine uh, it carries the engine output to the gearbox but act as input for the gearbox uh, that's why it is also called the uh, input shaft this clutch shaft this is input shaft now we'll discuss what is dog clutch the dog clutch uh, couples the lay shaft and the main shaft means this is the main shaft and the lay shaft by interference not by friction dog clutches are used to transmit appropriate gear ratio to the main shaft or output shaft by coming in interference with the pair of the gears it shows the pairs there are usually two dog clutches in a constant mesh gearbox now this is a dog clutch next is uh, gears in this gears of uh, constant mesh gear uh, gearbox come in the pairs as we have represented all gears of lay shaft are or counter shaft are always paired with 
गियर्स ऑफ मेन शाफ्ट और आउटपुट शाफ्ट दिस पेयर्ड गियर ऑफ काउंटर शाफ्ट एंड द मेन शाफ्ट इट प्रोवाइड्स डिफरेंट गियर रेशो विच कैन बी ट्रांसमिटेड टू मेन शाफ्ट बाय इंगेजिंग द क्लच विद एप्रोप्रिएट गियर रेशो दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड then uh, about the types of uh, gears used in this uh, constant mesh gearbox the types of gears it may be helical and bevel helical these gears uh, have angular cut teeth over cylindrical cross section metal body and in uh, bevel gears it it has angular cut teeth over conical cross section metal body now let's discuss about the construction of a constant uh, mesh gearbox i hope you have understood the previous uh, concepts discuss about constant mesh gearbox so it will be easy to understand uh, about the construction part of constant mesh gearbox uh the output of the engine is carried out by the clutch shaft so no doubt because it is connected with the uh, main driving shaft of the engine so it uh, receives energy from the uh, engine itself the gear in the clutch shaft is in constant mesh with the gear of the lay shaft as it is shown means gear on the clutch shaft is in constant mesh with the gear on the counter shaft of or the lay shaft these are paired with each other now there are five gears in lay shaft uh, that this 1 2 3 4 and here this five these five gears in the lay shaft one is fixed or connected with the uh, gear of clutch shaft and remaining four are connected with the gears of the output shaft all four gears are of different sizes all four gears are of different sizes to obtain different gear ratios so this is uh, very important we have to vary the sizes of the gears if we need to obtain the different gear ratios here one more uh, idler gear is used uh this is present in between the uh, gear of lay shaft and uh, main shaft to form reverse gear so it plays very important role uh, in the reversing mechanism now let's discuss uh, most of uh, the working part is also discussed so here we will uh, discuss about the working that when the dog clutch is engaged with the now here dog clutch is to provide various uh, different uh, speed ratios gear ratio when the dog clutch is engaged with the different uh, gears of main shaft different gear ratios are obtained as gear of the main shaft are always paired with the gears of the counter shaft to form different gear ratios now if the uh, dog clutch is not in contact with any gear of the main shaft that rotates freely and does not rotate the main shaft as they are connected with main shaft using bearing here the main shaft this main shaft rotates only when the dog clutch is engaged with any of the gear of the main shaft only that is necessary to be engaged if further transmission is required reverse gear is obtained in the in this gearbox using the same technique and uh, that was in sliding gearbox that is uh, using the idler gear between main shaft gear and counter shaft gear so uh, let's discuss about uh, different uh, gear ratios in constant uh, mesh gearbox Uh, we will discuss about the first gear that is obtained in the uh, constant mesh gearbox when this dog clutch 
gets enlarged by interference with the largest gear of main shaft which is in constant mesh with smallest gear of the main shaft here this is the constant this gear provides maximum torque and the minimum speed to the main shaft as we are drive any vehicle uh, like a car or bike so you always observe in very first gear the maximum torque is required that is provided then about second gear uh, it is obtained when dog clutch uh, gets engaged with second largest gear of main shaft which is in the constant mesh with the second smallest gear of the lay shaft this gear provides higher speed and lower torque than the first gear as uh, if we take example of bike uh, we know that first gear always require the torque as the gears are increased from one to second then re requirement of the torque is also lesser then next is third gear this uh, third gear is obtained when uh, dock clutch is engaged with second smallest gear or of the main shaft which is in constant mesh with second largest gear of the lay shaft and now this gear in uh, in case of uh, third gear that is obtained uh, when the dock clutch engages with the second smallest gear of the main shaft which is in constant mesh with second largest gear of the lay shaft uh, this gear more speed and uh, lesser torque than the second gear so as the gears are increasing 1 to 2 2 to 3 the torque requirement is lesser now uh, we will talk about the fourth gear and uh, the reverse gears in fourth gear this uh, gear provide the higher and uh, higher or maximum speed uh, in a vehicle using a constant mesh gearbox this uh, gear is obtained uh, when dock clutch is engaged with the smallest gear of the main shaft and which is in constant mesh with the largest gear of the lay shaft so we just observe you just observe that how gear sizes are changing on the main shaft as well as on the lay shaft now we will discuss about uh, reverse gears uh, about the first four gears as we have discussed about the sizes the sizes of the first four gears on the main shaft these are continuously decreasing and it happens in opposite manner on the lay shaft the continuously increment in the sizes of the uh, lay shaft now in case of uh, reverse gears in this gear the vehicle goes in reverse direction no doubt like a sliding mesh gearbox an idler gear is also used in constant mesh gearbox now this idler gear plays very important role uh, between the uh, main shaft and uh, main shaft gear and the lay shaft gear to form reverse gear reverse gear is obtained uh, when dock clutch engages with the gear in the main shaft which is paired with the idler gear now we will focus on the advantages of a constant uh, mesh gearbox first is the constant mesh uh, gearbox are quieter because helical or herring bun gears can be used in this gearbox instead of the spear spur gears then uh, next advantage uh, since the gears are engaged by uh, dock clutches if any damage occurs while engaging the gears the dog unit member gets damaged and not affected it it does not affect to the gear wheels so that is the, the most important advantage that it does not get affected only dog unit member are getting damage
now if we uh, talk about the application of uh, the constant mesh gearbox uh, it is mainly used in uh, farm trucks motor bikes and heavy machinery uh, it is also used in cars like the ford motor model then uh, constant mesh was uh, it this box was used in motor bikes uh, before the introduction of synchromesh gearbox in 1928 by <coughs> motor so these are some of the advantages and applications in this lecture we have uh, focused on the constant uh, mesh gearbox in which we have covered its types its construction part its working part advantages and the applications i hope you have uh, gone through all the basics and you have understood the concepts and it will be a uh, Uh, this knowledge will be useful while uh, uh, studying the automobile practically thank you thank you so much in next lecture we will focus on next part of an automobile engine thank you so much